Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. So I'm posting on a Monday and this is just like a new kind of thing I want to try. I want to do loads of different kinds of videos and I want Monday to be more of like an experimental day where um, I probably know it's not something loads of people want to see. You know, videos that may not get many views and pull in the biggest audience, but ones that I feel like um, my long-term subscribers or dedicated subscribers um, might enjoy, you know? And I, I just a bit more content whilst everyone is on lockdown. Today I want to do a skincare routine of basically first impressions, but each step of the skincare routine is going to be a product recommended by one of my favourite YouTubers, bloggers, etc. People who were probably the most influential um, YouTubers that I looked at when I started to take YouTube a bit more seriously. Seriously? The majority of these people, I feel like if you watch me, you're gonna watch them. But if you don't, hopefully this is gonna introduce you to a few new different people as well. All these are first impressions. I've not really looked into them too much. So today's not gonna be super educational. It's more me talking about the YouTubers and what I think of them. It, there's gonna be like no tea spilt here. Tea spilling tea. It's more like, come to mine for a cup of tea. Here's some finger foods. Let's have cucumber sandwiches and talk shit, you know? Okay, but let's start off with the first product and the first YouTuber. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And the YouTuber who inspired this is of course Leah Yu. Leah has described this as a holy grail product for her. I have to be honest, I kind of find it hard to like review cleansing balms because for me, they're all pretty much the same. They all kind of like do the same thing. Um, they got the same consistency. I think the Then I Met You Cleansing Balm is one of the first like, cleansing balms that were really different to me because of the texture of it. So I'm interesting to see why so many people like this and why it's a particular favorite of Leah's. So let's crack it open. Oh, cute. Spatula, this feels a bit, ooh. It smells like, um, if you're in the UK, you'll know what this smell is, but like the green fruit pastels. Yeah, it smells like green flavor. Um, but this contains papaya extract, which I actually know from Troy Arake, I can never pronounce it properly, but their accent line. It has nice oils in it too. It's got sunflower oil and ginger root oil. Um, a few essential oils, that doesn't bother me. We're washing it off. Um, but yes, I have layers upon layers of sunscreen on. So let's take this off. Ooh. Yeah, like green, green jelly, you know? What flavor's green? Lime. Does anybody like the green and yellow? like sweets or candy. Do, do people actually ever like that? Oh, I just have to say, first of all, that was super easy to kind of melt down into my hands. Usually I find that you um, have to do like a little bit of rubbing with a cleansing balm. And then you get those little like bits of cleansing balm that don't quite melt down. But this was super easy. And I have to say it's gliding effortlessly across my face. It does smell really good. And I know a lot of people are like, it shouldn't be about the smell. Um, but I like it, it smells good. I think especially when it's in a wash off product, it does not bother me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Leah. So she is of course, insanely inspirational. I think like we can all see that she's obviously got her own social media presence going on, but she is of course the CEO and founder of Crave Beauty. And you know, she's obviously an inspiration to me and probably many other YouTubers cause hopefully one day, if you want to, you know, do something more than just, do something more than just YouTube, with a lot of like beauty people, a product is where you want to go next, a brand is where you want to go. But you know, she really is um, a perfect example of hard work paying off. And why I like really respect and appreciate a lot more is that on her social media, she shows that it's not easy. Like, I think there's way more to inspirational people and inspirational um, journeys than it all being like, um, get up, I always say this, but like, get up, kick ass, seize the day. You know, she shows how really hard it actually is. You know, not just like business wise, but emotionally and mentally as well, how hard it is to actually sometimes achieve your dream, the hard work that goes into it and the effect it can have on your mental state as well your social life. You know, she's very honest and open up being an entrepreneur and that's reflected through her brand as well. They're very open and honest about um, their journey as a brand. And I find that way more inspirational, knowing that someone's been through hardships and that 
they're being honest with you and saying that you're probably going to go through this if this is what you want to do. I find that way more inspirational than just like, you know, my journey to the top was incredible, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, life isn't all like rainbows and unicorn shit. You know? This video, by the way, is literally just me licking ass for like, for like 10 minutes. This is really nice and I kind of just want to keep going on my face. Like it feels so relaxing and just smooth and nice. I kind of just like the way that looks. I might just stay like this for a bit. I'm going to go emulsify and wash off and then we're going to move on to the cleanser. I really, really, oh, am I in focus? Yeah, I really, really like that. I like that a lot. Quickly, while my face is damp, the next product is, out of breath. La Roche-Posay. This is their purifying foaming gel for oily sensitive skin and the YouTuber is Hiram. Okay, so first of all, I have to say this is product recommendation is from a um, drugstore cleanser video that he did and this is not the product he recommended <laughs> whatsoever. But this led me onto a journey because me and him have spoken about this before that certain brands like Simple, La Roche-Posay, CeraVe, CeraVe, um, their ingredients are different between the US and the UK. And I know obviously um, the FDA approves certain things and doesn't approve certain things, but I didn't think it would be as different as some of the ingredients are. So this is not the product he recommended, so I've already failed him. This is more La Roche-Posay because I see him mention um, this brand a few times, so I want to try it a little bit. The actual cleanser Hiram picked out was amazing. It's got like ceramides in and niacinamide. And mine, to be honest, looks like a very basic cleanser. In fact, it smells a little bit like washing up liquid. It is for oily skin and it's got a few detergents in here, a bit of citric acid, zinc PCA. I mean, it's literally just gonna cleanse my skin well. So I wanted to include Hiram because even though um, we only got in, like started talking last year, so he wasn't really, um, I didn't know him in my, my journey to being a YouTuber, but I wanted to mention him because obviously is doing very well for himself. But in general, I just trust his choices. I trust that he would never give a positive review for something that he wouldn't ever put on his skin himself. He's knowledgeable, he knows what he wants from his skincare as well. Um, <laughs> me and him always mention that we have very different, not very different, sometimes our standards are different for certain skincare ingredients and stuff. But I think when, you f when you're following a YouTuber or an influencer or any kind, when they know for a fact what they stand for and what they want, I think that's super important, not just for you, but for your viewers as well, because then you know you're gonna get a good quality recommendation. I need to wash this off before it dries out my skin. Okay, I'm back. Um, but yeah, I remember, I think the first video of Hiram's I saw was his, was his Kylie skin video. And I think that's how I found him, because I did one too. And it was just so nice seeing another guy on YouTube talking about skincare the way I do, exclusively skincare as well. So yeah, I immediately got in touch and I'm sure you won't mind me saying, but from the conversations we've had, he works so fucking hard. Like it puts me to shame. I have to take this moment to say as well that people always point out that me and Hiram have um, different opinions on certain ingredients, certain products. You know, mixed makeup Susan Yara is always brought into the mix as well, saying how we all have like different opinions on that and so-and-so said this, but so-and-so said that. But you know, we, we talk, you know, we talk, um, amongst ourselves <laughs> and we know we have different opinions and I think that's super important. Imagine if we all, all skincare YouTubers spoke about the exact same thing and had the exact same opinion about the exact same ingredients and the exact same products. How boring would the YouTube skincare space be, you know? But also it's reflective of real life. Certain people are gonna like certain things. Certain people's skin is gonna like certain stuff that other person's skin doesn't like. But also it's just skincare. It's meant to be fun. We're, we're all having a fun time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go shower now and then we're gonna come back with the rest of my routine. So I'm at the shower. I've completely forgot to talk about this. Um, It's fine. It's a very standard cleanser. I can see in the summer as my skin gets a little bit oily, this will be a good one Um, for the evening. But yeah, it's fine. Again, that's not the one Hiram recommended. Oh, okay, so the next one is um, an essence toner. I'm actually gonna use an essence as well, just to bring another person into this. But this is the Pian Kiang Yule Essence Toner. Um, and this is recommended by Gothamista. Renee, I, I don't actually know her full name. So I'm trying this product for the first time. My boyfriend actually uses this, I think. Has he been using it? Yeah, he's been using it. So it's supposed to be super minimalistic and its job is literally just to rehydrate your skin, which is perfect. That's all a toner essence combination really is. It's got seven ingredients in it. It says to help rebalance the skin after toner, adding back hydration. I believe Pian Kangyul's cr cruelty-free status 
um, changed towards the beginning of this year. I'm not sure. I did actually buy this before um, it changed. I just hadn't opened it. This feels nice and soothing as well. Even though that cleanser didn't dry me out, obviously when water comes into contact with your skin, it's gonna feel a little bit like And this kind of stops at it. It does just feel nice and elastic -y and soft. But, so this is Renee's um, Gothamisa's favorite from her 2020 February favorites video. So I discovered her channel because Maybe like a year ago, I'm gonna do another layer actually. Someone left um, a comment on my channel saying, oh, you're you're trying to be Gothamista. And at the time I wasn't aware of Renee's channel at all. So I thought it was like a hate comment. I was like, are you calling me a goth? <laughs> because I used to have like, it used to be in my bedroom and I had the Ouija board pillowcases and obviously my background is a little bit more spooky cute now, but I was like, I don't understand. It took me forever and I remember Googling Gothamista, then her channel popped up and I was watching her, one of her skincare routines and her videos are always like, um, very relaxing, just talkative and um, in a good way, very inf informative and against a white background. And <laughs> my skincare routine was against a white background and people were like, you're trying to be her. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. And yes, I wouldn't mind being her. It's just so informative, but what I like her channel for, ways to actually use the difficult ingredients, some ingredients that you've never heard of. Um, I went to her channel for a lot of retinol information and how to introduce actives into your skincare routine. If there's an ingredient that you've never really heard of, or there's a product that's new, like um, The Ordinary there, what's their, Ni Niode? I believe their sister brand is called. They have a lot of products that I wouldn't know what to do with if it wasn't for her channel. So super, super informative. I feel like every time she uploads a video, I'm learning about a new ingredient or a new product I never heard of, and even a new brand I've never heard of as well. Okay, next up we have The Essence. This is the Then I Met You, The Giving Essence, and the YouTuber is Joan Kim. So this is a bit of a cheat. I've used this a couple of times. So again, this is just meant to be a deeply hydrating and nourishing essence. So it's got antioxidants in it, polyglutamic acid, which is supposed to be more hydrating than hyaluronic acid, I believe as well. Galactomyces is something I always look for in my essences as well. For me, I love galactomyces mainly for the brightening effect of it and just how it makes my skin look a lot more lively. Red algae. They say this sea plant contains a high concentration of calcium, which gently exfoliates the skin, removing dead skin cells, reducing fine lines of pigmentation and brightening complexion. Sounds good. Let's give it a go. Oh, by the way, I'm, I pretty much just used that toner essence and this essence. You don't need to use these two products within a routine, but for the sake of this video, I'm doing it. Yes, so my obsession with Korean skincare is very obvious. And whenever I would look into uh, Korean hauls, beauty hauls, Korean skincare in general, Joan's channel would always pop up. But yes, I just love her channel. I think she's one of very few YouTubers that still does the end of month favorites kind of videos, which I really, really love. Her Joan Day um, vlog channel is super interesting. If you're interested in Korea and want to, wanting to visit Korea and want to see other things other than just like the touristy side of Korea, it's a great channel to watch. But actually Joan has her own product as well. So again, something that I would love to do before having my own brand is collaborate with a bigger brand. She collaborated with Neogen and launched the Joan Day and Joan Night, um, Jane, Joan Day and Night, Jane Doe? Joan Day and Night Cream, um, Day and Night Cream. Oh my God, this. <laughs> but that moisturizer is actually so, so good. I filmed a whole video about it, but that month I had a reaction to a shampoo, a new shampoo I was using. So I couldn't, I could, uh, the, my whole testing period was kind of out the window because that shampoo basically ruined it. So yeah, my skin is feeling a little bit sticky, mainly because I think these two don't really need to go together at all. But that on its own, I could use instead of just like a toner and an essence, I would probably just use it on its own. Um, but I'm gonna keep using that and hopefully I'll have a fuller review later. But yeah, she got to work with a brand that she truly, truly loves, which is everybody's, every YouTuber's dream. She just has really good taste, you know? I feel like uh, if she had a Pinterest board, it would just be really nice, you know? <laughs> okay, the next day. The next person is Pony. And this is just gonna be a sheet mask. It's a banana and honey sheet mask, I believe. Yes, so it's meant to be just a hydrating sheet mask. I love Pony. Honestly, she is in this video for no other reason than she's just like incredible to look at. She's absolutely stunning. You can tell she works so, so hard as well. She's always part of this new launch. She's always part of like a, a brand's campaign. She's just a successful businesswoman, which is an inspiration thing within itself. And I, I, oh fuck. Oh no, where did that go? Okay, but yeah, just super inspirational. And again, I think she's one of those people, social media influencers who has really made the most of what you can do. 
as as an influencer. God, I hate that fucking word. What word does do people like for the word influencer? Not even guru, because that makes you sound like overqualified. This is nice. It smells a bit um, f fragranty for my liking. It does smell a little bit too artificial. You know that smell that they put in a lot of honey cosmetics that doesn't smell like honey, but it's in almost all of them. And it's like, why that smell? Like, why? what made you pick that smell? Okay, I'm gonna leave this on for a bit. I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Bye guys. <laughs> okay, let's take this off. Whew. I mean, it's fine. It's nice. It's a sheet mask with a serum on it. It's fine. And now I'm gonna use another serum. I just wanna re-explain that this is way more products than I would ever normally use in a routine nowadays. But I'm just doing this for video reasons, so. You definitely don't have to do all these steps. Okay, so the next product is a serum. This is Rovectin Skin Essentials Aqua Activating Serum, and the YouTuber is Ivan Lamb. So again, this is just another like radiance boosting, brightening, hydrating serum. But I do like the Rovectin Skin Essentials um, line because their products are usually nice and repairing and gentle on the skin. Um, this serum has glycerin in, uh, niacinamide, sodium hyaluronate, which I'm using a little bit of again, aloe leaf as well. So yeah, let's see what this is all about. So when I first First, oh, that's quite, oh, is it in a packet? So when I first started YouTube, my channel was mainly targeted at men. Um, that's because I used to work for ASOS and Top Man, and when I worked for them, I was dressing men. I was filming advice video for men and how to dress and stuff like that. And I felt like that's what I had to bring to my channel in order to be successful as well. And obviously I'm not hyper masculine. I don't want to be talking about um, the best date night outfit. I don't want to be talking about the best suit. I don't want to be talking about how to buy a perfect pair of jeans. All I wanted to talk about was skincare. That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, and sometimes hair. And I was struggling with my channel. I was like, I actually find this boring. Um, this is before I even thought of doing it as a full-time thing. And I was just gonna pack it in, to be honest with you. Um, and then I came across Ivan's channel and he was a guy who was talking about style, um, makeup, skincare, hair, and you could see his personality and he wasn't doing it for anyone else other than him. You know, it looked like he was making all his videos because that was truly him. And I know that sounds really stupid, but I didn't want to be talking about how to trim your beard properly because I just didn't care. And it kind of made me realize you can be successful on YouTube just by being yourself and doing your own thing. But it did take a while for me to cross over from like being a men's influencer, gr grooming expert, I was referred to as a lot. Um, it took me a while to come away from that and really find the audience that I have today. And to be honest as well, an audience that I have such an amazing kind of like interaction with and I talk to you guys a lot, like not only on here, but over on Instagram. And it's nice just to have like, people come to my channel because they're into the same stuff I am and we're learning from each other and you know, I get to learn from you guys as well. And it's just it like seeing his channel and how he did his channel really changed it up for me as far as being a man, a guy on YouTube. The moment I tr concentrated on my true passion, which is skincare, um, YouTube changed for me and I wasn't quite full time yet, but I could see that, that that was where it was going eventually. Also, if you guys think my videos are like relaxing, a lot of you say that I ha like my voice is relaxing and stuff, which I just think it's like a little bit whiny. Um, you should go and check out his videos. They're very, very relaxing, very aesthetically pleasing as well. Okay, next up, we're gonna do another stage. And these are the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Eye Patches. And the YouTuber is Jay Kisser. So Jess, Jay Kisser, is actually my friend. I met her, we were both signed to Michelle Farn's um, YouTube network, Icon. Um, it was before she kind of like had her break on YouTube. And so it, it didn't last that long. I was flown out to LA and for like, for like this three day workshop. These are quite cool. Everyone that was signed to this network was at this workshop. Jess, Jay Kisser was of course one of them. Um, and loads of other people who, whose channel I still actually watch today and still speak to quite a few of them. Um, but it was honestly one of the best weeks of my life. I was there for a whole week, met Michelle Farn, met loads of like really inspirational talkers. And I, it was that week that I knew YouTube really, really was what I wanted to do full time. 
I was working for ASOS at the time as well, and I was trying to distance myself from being ASOS James, which was my Instagram handle. I hung out with her and her husband, Chris, um, for the whole time I was there. Um, and then we all went to Japan together with Icon Asia and had honestly one of the best, again, best weeks of my life. We did so much. But again, she's just super inspirational. Like when I went there, she was the first real YouTuber I had met, someone who was doing it full time, you know, had like a filming room, all that kind of stuff. And this, I was just like, this is what I want to do again. This is, this really solidified it for me. Her makeup is incredible. She's one of the most talented makeup artists I've seen online, but she loves milk makeup. And whilst I couldn't find any of the products that she actually recommended in her milk makeup video, um, a lot of it sold out here in the UK. Um, I believe it's pretty new still here in the UK. I got a few bits. I got um, this cooling stick. Um, and obviously these eye patches and another product I'm going to show you in a bit. So this isn't a direct recommendation, but she loves milk in general. And these are really nice. They're very, very cold in a very nice way. They've not been in the fridge or anything. They're just really, really soothing. So these have aloe and caffeine in them. There are some essential oils in there as well. But to be honest with you, I've never had an issue with lavender oil yet, <laughs> but we'll see. They're nice. I like them. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and I'm gonna take them off. Okay, let's take these off. I like them. They're so, so nice, I kinda of don't wanna waste them. <laughs> okay, this is the last step and it's another milk makeup product. This is the Milk Vegan Milk <laughs> Moisturizer. And the YouTuber is of course Susan Yara. So this is a favorite from actually her personal channel, not the mixed makeup channel. This is from her February favorites. And other than the eye patches and a lip balm, this is gonna be one of the first proper milk skincare products. How do I open it? Um, first milk skincare products I've ever used. I, I do really like the packaging. The one thing that bothers me about this kind of packaging is it looks so big and then you just have this like little pot in the middle of it. And it wasn't cheap, but it also wasn't overly pricey. No smell to it whatsoever. So yeah, I obviously love the mixed makeup channel as a lot of you guys do, but Susan Yara's own channel is really interesting as well. It's, she talks about a lot of like, um, mum stuff, you know, like being a mum and for some reason I find it super interesting. Like I watched a full review video about breast pumps. I'm weird like that. Like I like knowing what other people are doing and like other people experiencing stuff that I would never experience. I want to know more about it. But literally Susan Yara can talk about her favorite shades of beige and I'd still watch a video on it. So this is not, not depressing, but this is like a little bit deep. But the first video I saw of with Susan in, it was actually a mixed makeup video and it was titled, Should I Quit? And I remember it was the, it was the 1st of January, 2019. And I clicked on it because obviously it's like new year and it's like you're thinking about the year ahead and YouTube for me was going a bit stagnant and I wasn't doing it full time yet. And I still hadn't planned to do it full time properly, I guess. I was doing things for other brands still, like doing their social media. And, and after like the amazing inspiration of like um, LA and being signed with like to Michelle Farn's um, network, it all kind of just went a little bit stagnant for me within the years after. And the video was just basically Susan talking about the mi oh, I just hit my Adam's apple then, that hurt. It was her talking about the mixed makeup channel and how views had gone down and she wasn't really sure what people wanted to see from her channel anymore. And I clicked on it and watched it because I was going through the same thing. I was like, I was making enough money to get by. I couldn't put any money aside. I was still living paycheck to paycheck, as you say, you know, like I was just affording to pay my bills and do a food shop and, um, you know, go out for dinner maybe once a month. All very, very good, but you know, I moved out from London and I wanted to get a house and I wanted to settle down. And I was thinking to myself, can I do this really realistically with YouTube? Like, can I, is this realistic? And it's not helpful as well when you tell people what you do and they're like, oh, like, is that a job? Like, how does that work? Like, well, what are you gonna do if it all goes wrong? Which is a question <laughs> that you get when you tell people you're a YouTuber. Like YouTube's suddenly gonna go down, it might do. See how I was thinking, should I just get like, what's considered a normal job? I, I work hard in whatever job I have, so I'd, I'd be fine and I could get a normal paycheck and a mortgage and stuff. But watching that first mixed makeup video and hearing Susan talk about her team and how, how much work they put into their channel made me realize that I wasn't doing fuck all. Like I literally wasn't 
doing everything that I could do to make my career successful. I work so hard for other people. Every job I've ever had, I've put in extra hours without any, you know, a second thought, but never for myself. And I was like, why, why wouldn't I do that? Why wouldn't I put those extra hours in and the extra effort for myself? So yeah, that video really made me realize, and even Hiram's videos and talking to Hiram and hearing how much he worked really made me realize that I was not doing the work that is needed in order to do this successfully. That's like, like when people ask me how long I've been doing YouTube for, I'm like realistically just like over a year because from when I've really put effort into it and taken it seriously, I feel like it's only been a year. And it's funny because whenever I leave comments on Susan's channel, whenever I talk about her, like when I did the reaction video, people, you know, people do say like, oh, you, you just love her. Which yeah, obviously her channel is amazing. She's amazing. But you know, you're like sucking up to her. Like, first of all, no, I'm an adult. I don't need to suck up to anyone. But also seeing another YouTuber, because I feel like people always see everyone as competition. Do you mean, I think people like see us as all competing against each other for whatever, but it's not, it's not like that. So when you see someone doing something that you want to do in the future, and you know what it means to them and you know what that would mean to you, like having your skincare routine on Harper's Bazaar, you're genuinely happy for them because you can just imagine one day, hopefully you would be in that position too. And you wanna be supportive, especially knowing how hard it is. I think people think being a YouTuber is easy as far as like making it to being full time. It's, it's not, it's fucking not. Like it's really, really difficult. Like a lot of the times I do just say, oh, I just record stuff and put it on the internet, but it's way more than that. So when you do see people doing so well, I, it's genuinely so nice to know that that's what you can be someday. That's where you can be someday. That's where you're going. And seeing people succeed is, it's just so genuinely, um, inspiring and hopeful. And seeing how people around these channels, hearing how hard they were working, really did give me a kick up the ass. And it was, and it stemmed from this video. Um, and 2019 ended up being like a life changing year for me. I was able to do this full time. It's funny, cause when I look back at my early YouTube days, I really wanted to be part of like this big men's grooming lot. Like there's a lot of like ma male grooming YouTubers and they're all, they're all amazing in their own way, but that's not me. That's not what I want to be part of. And that's not what I'm part of. I'm into skincare. I'm a man who's into skincare. <laughs> but I look at the other skincare channels now that I'm surrounded with, that I get tagged alongside, that I'm talking to, the people that are tagging us all, the people that I always see in everyone's comments. And it's a community that I'm actually really happy to be in and I'm so glad I'm part of and I'm and I'm proud to be part of it. It's like, it's just, yeah, I just, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so that video for me helped a lot, helped a lot, a lot. This honestly isn't as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Um, I definitely need to look into the ingredients more, but again, this isn't a, like a educational video. But yeah, I like this. It's probably not for the daytime. Now it's getting a little bit hotter as someone with oily skin, it's a little bit, thicker than what I'd use during the day. But saying that, it could just be because of all the products I've layered on. So tell you what, I'm gonna give this a go tomorrow morning just with my normal cleanser, um, toner, serum, and that little bit of moisturizer and sunscreen and let you know over on Instagram how I get on. The last thing I do before bedtime with laminated brows is you have to oil them up, um, otherwise they dry out, because it is just permed eyebrows. You actually need redoing. But yeah, I hope this was interesting. As I said, Mondays, I just want to try something different. I wanted to give a shout out to other creators that I enjoy watching, other creators that like I've been following for years and years and have honestly been like a big part of, I hate saying my journey, but yeah, a part of like YouTube for me. And yes, let me know what other kind of things you want to see on Mondays. It could be anything, honestly, anything. Um, I just want to post a bit more content for everyone. Um, we've got the time, why not? But yeah, that is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time.